guys, this is Chad with round two. So I'm here to bring you the April product spotlight video. First thing you guys will probably notice, we are not in the round two warehouse right now. We are actually in my garage. So we are working remote from round two uh, right now, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. So we kind of figured, hey, everybody's sitting at home. Everybody is kind of just watching stuff on the internet. And why not bring you guys a video? So I was able to bring some product home with me, and I'm going to kind of run through some of the really neat stuff that we got coming out. So we have... Uh, new releases for 164th I'm going to show you guys for Johnny Lightning. There's a Collector 10 release, there's some new James Bond stuff, there's a new Classic Gold release, and a Hobby ex exclusive uh, 164th car as well. We also have two 118 scale Auto World die casts that I'm going to show you guys, uh, as well as a few Auto World uh, slot cars, Legends of the Quarter Mile slot cars that are coming out, and then we have five model kits. Uh, that are coming out. There's some Space 1999 stuff that's really cool, and there's some car kits too. So I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to show you guys the model kits first. All right, so first off for model kits, we've got the big one. This is a Space 1999 Eagle 2 Laboratory Pod Kit. So what's really neat about this kit, there it's uh, based on our Eagle 22-inch Eagle kit, um, obviously. It's got the uh, Eagle 2 details um, for it with the laboratory pods on the side, the new shoulder pods. Uh, engine bottles and piping. It's got this soft spring uh, action landing gears and the season two pilot figures. So you can kind of get a look at some of the really cool uh, features on it here. There's those new shoulder pods there. Um, that's a look at the, the softer landing gear. So when you actually set the kit down, it compresses and it looks really neat when, you, uh, when you're when you displaying it. So also there's a look at the new uh, Eagle 2, the engine bottle arrangement that is set up on this kit and those Season 2 uniform figures in there. So there's a lot of really neat stuff about this kit. Uh, over 300 parts on it, and we just really love doing these. I know this has been uh, one that you guys have been requesting a lot for the Space 1999 kits, so we're excited to see how you build it up and what you do with it. But even that is, uh, that's not all for Space 1999, because we also have the Space 1999 Spine Booster coming out. So this is a really neat kit. This is... Uh, supplemental kit to go with the laboratory pod so you actually can build up um build up the spine booster here and you see here where the booster clamps to the model of the ship here it's got really cool detailing on it really great details and you can even get a look here at how all the decals are shown so all the different uh details for the decals and where they all go on the uh on the spine booster it's just another really neat addition to the space 1999 stuff and lastly we also have the Eagle 2 uh, Laboratory Pod, the uh, aluminum parts. So these are the uh, aluminum engine bells for that new Laboratory Pod kit. And it also comes with uh, with parts for the Spine Booster. So you can kind of see uh, all the aluminum pieces in there. You can kind of get a look at uh, different stuff that comes along with it. The struts, engine bells, smaller bells, and the Spine Booster pieces. And a look on the back of that one. And jumping into car kits, we've got some really neat stuff coming. First off, the AMT Vintage Police Car. So uh, some of the really neat features about this one, you can build it as a uh, as a vintage police car. You can leave the police options off if you want to build it as a, as a regular car too. Um, there's a look kind of at the 125th scale replica of that 1927 uh, Model T Ford. And there are the optional side curtains included in this kit as well. And some of the looks... With the uh, with some of these optional pieces, you got your side mirror, the police helmets, megaphone, sawed-off shotgun, nightsticks, and then you can actually build the engine uh, in two different ways. You can build it as a stock uh, stock Model T engine, the patrol engine, or the high-speed pursuit engine, uh, which has the uh, dual overhead cam set up and some other pretty cool exhaust uh, exhaust exits and, and all that kind of stuff on it. So there's a look at the parts tree for that kit. Another one I'm really excited to see what you guys do with it. So, Also, in a similar vein, this is the uh, MPC, the Monopoly uh, Paddy Wagon, the 1933 Willys Panel Van. So we have just recently uh, partnered up with Monopoly to bring like some kits and some other cool stuff uh, out this year. So this is the go-directly-to-jail car, the 
of the uh, police paddy wagon jail car. So it'll get you there quickly. And what's cool about this, this is actually a snap kit. So it's molded in three different colors. It's pearl blue. It's got red interior uh, that it's molded in. And then there's the black parts, chrome parts, and uh, clear parts for it as well. And this kit is a really, uh, it's a really easy snap kit. You don't need any paint or glue for this one. It's got that cool chrome engine off the top. There's a look at the, uh, the Monopoly decals that, that come with it. And there's a look at that, that parts tree on the back there also. So really excited about this one. Something a little different, something, uh, something pretty cool for you guys. And then lastly, we have the Coca-Cola 1941 Plymouth kit. So some of the really neat stuff about this kit, um, this artwork was done by Don Greer, the AMT veteran. Uh, he's been doing artwork for AMT since the beginning forever and he still does work with us so this all original art from him on the uh, on the front of the box which is super cool and uh it does include four of these coke bottle crates which are molded in uh in coca-cola green coke bottle green so you can uh put the decals in there to make the coke crates and if you you can build it as a coke version or as a regular version and get a look here. You can see some of the other some of the other options here. There's two engine options, uh, including this custom engine that's shown. Uh, there are stock tires and wheels. There's also these custom tires and wheels, and the uh, the really cool decals. You got the Coke decals and all your uh, license plate decals and all that stuff too. And a look at that parts tree also. So that's everything we've got for model kits. Next, we're gonna jump in and show you guys 164th. Okay, so first off for 164th, we're going to start with the Johnny Lightning Classic Gold release. So the first car in this release is a super neat car, the 2008 Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR. So this casting hasn't been out in uh, quite a long time. They're doing, uh, we're doing the two versions of this here. The version A is in uh, the Viper bright orange color with that black, uh, you can see that black striping going along the top of it. It's got that big ACR wing. It's got the kind of the uh, that front splitter on the bottom of it too. ACR splitter and the version B is in the uh, in the bright blue color with that black also just a super mean looking really cool looking car and uh, excited to see that one come out on the pegs so next in uh, classic gold the second car in the release this is the 1967 Dodge Charger so uh, two variations of this first is in this dark red poly again just a fantastic looking color and it's got that bright red interior which like really pops off that color there and you can see the uh, the white line tires on that one as well. So just a beautiful year for the for the Charger, those 67 Chargers. Just a super cool looking car. And then the uh, next variation here, uh, the Mauve Poly version. Just a super classy looking car. You can kind of see that uh, that sort of green tint in the glass. Just a really, really neat looking uh, die cast there. So third in that classic gold release. This is the 1968 Ford Fairlane Torino GT Convertible. So first uh, version here, version A, is in Wimbledon white. You can see the white here and that really cool blue interior with the uh, with the blue striping going along the sides of it as well. And then you got your uh, your BF Goodrich uh, radial TA uh, white letter tires on it. And the second variation, just, just as good looking, the Highland Green Poly uh, with the yellow striping and that tan interior, you can see those lighter uh, white seat inserts on it. Just a super great looking car there. And next, uh, fourth in the release, this is the 1971 Buick Riviera. So first variation here is in Twilight Turquoise Poly. You can see that, uh, that great looking color there. White line tires, that black vinyl top on it. And the second is in Burnished Cinnamon, another really great looking color. And uh, another just super cool looking release. So. We're going to do fifth in the release right here, 1973 Cadillac Eldorado Convertible. So this first one is in Harvest Yellow, and it's even got the uh, color match centers there on it, and the interior, the matching interior, just a little different shade to really get that leather look going in there. And uh, second, the version B is in Sable Black with that bright red interior that really pops off of it there. And lastly, this is a super... Uh, Super popular one. This is the uh, Jeep Cherokee XJ. So this one is Patriot Blue for version A here. It's got kind of the black, uh, uh, the black on the over fenders on it, the uh, fender flares. It's got that big brush guard up in the front, uh, kind of the, the wench look on it, and the uh, the uh, Wrangler Goodyear Wrangler off-road tires. 
on that one as well. And the second version is an amber fire orange with uh, with the black, the same black accents on it. So another great looking car, uh, one we're really excited to put out. Next, we're going to show the collector tin release. So we've got three cars for this one, two colors. Uh, the first car in it, this 1987 Chevy Monte Carlo SS. You can see the tin there. And there is the, uh, there's the car in white with those that great looking red striping. It's got that little bit of a lighter color on the top of it. Really cool looking uh, striping for that. And the second variation here is in black with the, with the red striping going, uh, going down the side there and all the SS details and uh, white letter tires and some gray interior in that one. So great looking car there. Next up, in the Collector 10, this is the uh, Johnny Lightning, the 1992 GMC Typhoon. So first one here in that classic black color, um, the lamp black version with the, the gray on the bottom of it. Got those uh, those great matching wheels and the, the Collector 10 that comes with it as well. And the second variation is in forest green metallic. Super cool looking in that color with that two-tone. And uh, there's a Collector 10 for that. And then lastly, for this, we have got the 1972 Chevy Vega, the Panel Express version. So first one here is in cranberry red. You can see the uh, the red there, kind of the, uh, the red coloring for the paneling on the top and that white line tire. And the second variation here, that uh, Mulsane Blue Poly with that panel on it as well. And next up, we've got the Johnny Lightning. This is our hobby exclusive car. This is the uh, the Cadillac 1959 Cadillac Hearse. So you'll probably remember this casting was uh, initially our Ecto 1A, and then we made some variations to it to do the Ecto 1, uh, and then to remove all the rough raft stuff uh, stuff on top completely. And so we could finally do a 1959 uh, Cadillac Hearse version. So a lot of guys have been asking about about doing this car. You can see the white uh, the white wall tires on it. It's got really great looking red interior in there as well and the uh the curtains along the sides so just a, a really uh a really great looking one that uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for so and then lastly uh this is a big one to announce for johnny lightning these are the johnny lightning uh james bond diorama sets so these are the uh the 10 dioramas so the first car here you're doing james bond you have to start with the 1964 aston martin db5 so we've got it in uh in the classic silver of course the 10 is for the movie Skyfall, but this Aston Martin was actually in uh, eight different James Bond films, and it is in the uh, the new film coming up here, uh, No Time to Die. And you can see some of the really uh, really cool features in there, kind of that uh, that wood color and steering wheel, and just great looking detailing on that one. And then we do have one more diorama uh, for 007. This is the Dr. No uh, car. This is the 1957 Chevy Bel Air convertible. So um, this one here is on all in black. It's got the great detailing along the side of it for all the uh, 57 Bel Air striping. The red interior and look at that interior detailing. Just super great looking. And again the uh, the white wall tires and of course the the Dr. No tin to display it in. So just great looking. We're going to have some more uh, James Bond stuff coming out soon uh later on this year so keep your eyes out for that that's everything for 164th next we'll jump in and show you guys 118. all right so for the 118 we have two really neat cars for you guys these are actually both part of the uh, muscle car and corvette nationals series that we've been doing so uh these are all cars that we picked at the show because uh, we thought that they were great examples and went through um redid them exactly the way that they that they were shown at this show so this first one here is the 1969 dodge charger rt so some of the cool stuff about this one it's in that great looking b3 uh light blue color you got the red line tires on it the chrome wheels the perfect white interior that's just it really really looks good with that light blue color and the really cool stuff about these uh these muscle car and Corvette national cars are the stories. So this is always, um, as a die cast, opening door and hood, same as we do everything, detailed engine, steerable front wheels. But some of the really neat features about this car is actually uh, the owner behind it was uh, Roger Zeibel. So he actually had always dreamt about having a 1969 Dodge Charger. Uh, this was a guy that we met and talked to at the show. He um, finally found one, he was at a car show and it, it was a uh, plum crazy purple car. 
And as he went and did the research, he found out that it was actually supposed to be a, uh, a B3 light blue. So uh, his son and him actually restored this car. They did all the work to restore it in six months and did everything themselves with the paint job. So it's, we're, it's a story that we're really happy to, uh, to share, to be a part of, and to bring to you guys so that you can, uh, can kind of share in it too. So another really cool one. This is another muscle car and Corvette National car, the 1967 Shelby GT350. So this is great looking car, uh, black color. You've got the uh, Goodyear uh, white letter tires on it and that matching black interior. But again, the coolest parts of these cars are the story. And this particular car uh, is owned by Jordan Sneathan from 25 Motor Cars LLC. So uh, this was actually a car that was found, uh, had been stored for a very long time, and it was one of the very rare uh, Hertz-only cars that were part of a program that Hertz was going to put on uh, where you could rent a race car, and it never, it kind of fell through. So there were only about 52 of these GT350s that were actually made uh, in real life. They were all painted this raven black color. They were the only cars that were painted that raven black color. And there were three uh, GT500s that were done as well. So this was a, a, a very rare car, a very cool car to see at the, at the show. And another one that we're really happy to uh, have been able to replicate and to bring to you guys. So that's everything we've got for 118. Uh, we're going to jump in and show you guys the slot car set. All right, so for slot cars, we've got a new release for you guys. This is the Legends of the Quarter Mile Extraction release. So three cars in this set. Uh, jumping right in, starting off with the first car. This is the Sox and Martin 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner. So some of the really neat fe features about this one, it's got that Sox and Martin livery, the red, white, and blue. And you can see all the cool race decals on the side of it and the, those Firestone white letter tires, which always look awesome on a slot car. And next in the release, we've got the Bill Grumpy Jenkins, the 1969 Chevy Camaro. So this is the Grumpy's Toy Camaro. You can see the livery there. It's got the uh, the white color on it. All of the race decals that uh, Bill Jenkins was running back then, and just also those uh, those Firestone white letter tires on that one too. So another really cool one we're excited to bring out. And then lastly, number three, the Dick Landy, the 1970 Dodge Challenger. So this is a really neat car. This is uh got that red, black, and white livery on it. Um, you can see all the all the details for the uh, for the Dick Landy race car, all the different decals on it, and you'll even notice the little MPC decal down there in the corner. So, um, just another one we're really excited to bring out to you guys, and we can't wait to see you guys running them on the drag tracks. We've been doing uh, some new releases for uh, for Legend stuff and for drag tracks uh, coming out here. So, just really excited to see you guys run them. So that's everything we've got for slot cars. All right, guys, so that's everything that we've got for April. And again, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching these videos, subscribing to the channel. You guys are the reasons that we get to do this, and we're really, really excited to do to do this work and to bring this kind of stuff to you. And I know right now everybody's kind of sitting at home. Everybody's sort of going through the same thing. Everybody's scared. So just remember that we're all in this together. We're all get through it. And uh, just stay at home. Keep working on your hobbies, keep working on your dioramas, spend some time with your families, and just be safe, everybody. Thank you so much for following us. Thank you so much for helping us support the hobby, and thanks for everything you do. Thanks for watching the videos. Stay safe. We'll see you guys in May.